All right, so this steam engine, this is gonna be the crankshaft. Be held down by these. This is the power piston. It's got about a three quarter uh, inch and a half stroke, so we're gonna make the crank at three quarters of an inch. And this is the valve. We want about a half inch stroke on it, so we're gonna put about a quarter of an inch on this crank. The valve crank should be 90 degrees offset of the uh, power crank, and it will lead the power crank. Okay, this uh, valve system operates. Here I am grinding a groove in the piston for the opening. Alright, so we've got our crankshaft and flywheel done. Works nice and smooth. We got our thing done. We found a nice o-ring that fits in there for the valve. This one we don't have the o-ring on right now. Okay, so we've got the piss or the piston and the valve assembly mounted on here. Got the thing, the valve corner operator. We are just short connecting rods here and here and here and here. This is 70 pounds. Ooh. Oh, damn. We had a problem here. The first test I bent the piston. At high pressure, so I think this cr uh, crankshaft was too short, causing it to have a more extreme angle. And the longer, the further away you make your piston from the thing, the less that angle is. So I stretched it another two inches, maybe. Uh, one good idea my dad had was to put these hoil holes in there that lead down to the axle so you can actually oil these. The other problem was this was too springy. Before I welded this cross piece on there, now it's nice and stiff, but it was changing the timing under high pressure and making it uh, act against itself. This is my steam boiler, it's a propane tank, pretty simple off the shelf thing you can get. Uh, I've got a plug in the top that unscrews, fill it with water, main line comes out and it splits in two, half of it I send back, it's uh, like a feedback that sends air steam into the fire and makes the fire burn hotter. And this line goes to the engine. 
and what this is, I don't know if that's an original idea, I'm sure they used it in steam power back in the olden days. But it allows you to build up a surplus of steam by making the fire burn hotter. You're producing more steam than you're actually using, so it builds up a surplus. I'd like to upgrade all this with hard lines. Uh, Pop-off valve right now, this is the safety that will pop off under high pressure. But to do this with hard lines and shut off valve so I can control it here and control it at the engine. Another problem I had was uh, the O-rings fit too tight in here. Well, this one basically. And when I put, uh, it worked fine on air pressure, but when I put, put it on the steam, the heat must have caused it to expand and it started to fit really tight. So you want a good seal, but still have that free, nice motion. You know, it's better to let them leak a little bit than have them too tight and uh, cause even more friction.